Shabbat Shalom, welcome to this week's 321. That's three comments on the Parsha in two minutes with one insight. The Parsha this week is Bechukotai, almost never read by itself. It's usually part of a double Parsha. And in it, we get a major focus on blessings and curses. You Jewish people, if you do good, then good things will happen. If you do bad, then bad things will happen. Remember, at this point, they don't know the 40 years of wandering are coming. They think they're about to enter the land, and this is a pitch of how to do it with uh, blessings in their heart for doing uh, right and doing good, uh, which is the, the first comment, is that that's where the people were in this moment, ready to go in and needing to hold on to the carrot and the stick. The second comment is what we do with it today when we read the Torah, we, uh, sometimes the Torah reader will chant it quieter or chant it faster to get through it as quickly as possible. And sometimes who comes up to have the Aliyah is chosen carefully. Sometimes it'll be a rabbi or a learned person who will bear the burden. And sometimes it'll be the other end, it'll be someone who doesn't exactly know what the meaning of the passage is so that there, there's no shame or there's no difficulty. But often we focus on this Aliyah as being other and different than the rest of the Torah, which is our third one which is, uh, if you are like me, you've had the following experience. You do something wrong, and you realize you do something wrong, and you apologize for doing said wrong thing. You believe you won't do it again, and now the question is, do, is there still consequences for you to face? Is there still curses? Is there still um, uh, a punishment even for said wrongdoing? Even though you've done the work, you know it's wrong. You're sorry you did it. You've moved forward. And that gets to our insight is that sometimes you haven't finished apologizing until you've experienced the curse. That these curses are there as a, for, on purpose and for a reason that sometimes our lessons, even though we think we know them, even though we think we feel them, that having the experience of some difficulty, some pain, some discomfort, some punishment is how we finish apologizing and are actually able to move forward. So this Shabbat, I wish us to look inside for those things that we wish we were better at, that we wish we did more, and ask ourselves not how do we avoid the consequences of our actions, but how do we face them? How do we take them with pride and use them to learn to do better? This Shabbat, I wish us our curses. Shabbat Shalom.